Hey everyone, this is Rob from the Blue Onion team. Right, we are selling our bamboo crepe spreaders on Amazon. And the one thing we've been asked a few times is how to make some proper crepes. So here we are, I'm just going to give you a little instruction about how to make the basic crepe. It's beautiful, it's easy, it's simple. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to make the simple crepe. Step one, and this is super important if you want to make perfect, beautiful, very thin, very evenly spread crepes. First, if you go to Amazon.com and you buy the bamboo crepe spreader from Blue Orient, from us, then that will ensure that you'll make very professional, very thin, very great tasting crepes. Alright then, so what, if you've got your crepe spreader with you now, okay, I'd say the best thing to do that I'd recommend is either you can write down the instructions on how to make the crepe or pancake, or you can just take this little video along with you, you can play it and pause it and then make the crepe with us, we can make it together. So now I'm going to tell you what you need to get from the shop. So the ingredients. Two large eggs, half cup of milk, one third of a cup of cold water, one tablespoon of oil, one tablespoon of melted unsalted butter, one eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one half of a teaspoon of sugar, three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. So us guys here at Blue Orient, we made this uh, recipe. It made about 12 crepes. We were happy with it, we were full, and it was great. Okay, so now look around your kitchen, find a big bowl. In that big bowl, get two of them big eggs. Put it in there, add the flour, the milk, the salt, sugar. Mix it all together, whisk it all up, okay? Get it all nice and smooth, okay? And nice and thick. Step two, take your smooth, thick batter that you've just been whisking, then add some the water, add the oil, add the melted butter, and whisk together. Step three, go and find yourself a non-stick pan. You want to rub a little butter around the pan just to grease it up a little bit. Step four, when you've got your, your pan nice and hot, you want to add two tablespoons of batter to the pan. Step five. Now you've got the batter in the pan. You want to spread it around the pan, distribute it evenly. Okay, so there's a nice thin layer of crepe. Obviously, the best way to do that is we're using the bamboo crepe spreaders. If you haven't got yours, go pick them up from Amazon. Step six. Cook your crepe over moderately high heat for about 45 seconds. In the meantime, why don't you go put the kettle on, make yourself a cup of coffee, come back, you know, it'll be about 45 seconds. When the edges start to curl, the crepe starts to get a bit brown, you're good. Step seven. So your 45 seconds are up. It's time to flip your crepe. So you want to take your bamboo crepe spatula from the pack. You want to put it under the crepe, lift it up, and flip it. Nice and easy and simple. So you want to, on the other side now, it's cooking. You want to leave it for about 10 to 20 seconds until brown starts start to appear at the bottom. Step eight. Now the crepe should be good and ready. It's time just to tap it out or maybe you could use the spatula and just to take it out and put it onto your plate. Step nine. That's it. It's finally on your plate. It's ready to eat. I hope you've made your coffee. You've got your morning juice. You've got the paper. You know, you still remember, you've still got another 11 crepes to make, so bring your family around, bring your friends around, set them all around the table, enjoy it. Remember, sharing is caring. So how were they? They were good, weren't they? I know they're good. I've made these before and they're fantastic. I love them personally. But anyway, you make sure to let everybody know in the comments section below if you could. That'd be fantastic. From all of us here at the Blue Orient team, we hope you have a great one. And thanks very much for your time. Created using Powtoon.